in reserve for the Blue Alliance, a team from Corona, Michigan, uh, Team Fridge Bot. Basic floors between the lines. Three, two, one, go. And we're underway. The sandstorm is raging, but that's not slowing down these machines. Most of the machines are being guided remotely using the onboard camera system the teams have put in these machines. At the end of our sandstorm period, score was 15 to 17. Blue Alliance had the lead. Sandstorm period is over. Teleoperated period now underway. Blue Alliance with a one point advantage over the Red Alliance. 35-42 on the move for the Red Alliance. Attaching a hatch panel to the mid-level of the Red Alliance near side rocket ship. Action now on the Blue Alliance side of the planet. First team, 868, securing a hatch panel there. Their alliance partner, the Bomb Squad, reaching in to grab some cargo. And partner number 1923 with a hatch panel in their possession as well. 51 to 45. Red Alliance has the lead, but the Blue Alliance is charging. Blue Alliance must win to stay in it. Far side of the field, watching as Red Alliance Robot 1690 makes their move. Team Orbit, the Israeli team, leading the charge for the Red Alliance. Orbit working to secure again another hatch panel on the nose of the Red Alliance cargo ship. Now to the Blue Alliance side of the planet, the Bomb Squad grabs a piece of cargo, backs up and runs smack dab into 2337, the Red Alliance defender. The brakes are off. Red Alliance slams into them, trying to get them to drop the cargo, but it's delivered and scored. 84 to 72, Red Alliance extending their lead. 20 seconds left. The Blue Alliance is banking it all on the end game, trying to get the job done. 868 is on level three. The Midnight Inventors attempting a double. Lifting off from the launch pad first. It's the Red Alliance. Red Alliance will win this one with.